Hello everyone, today it's all about oranges because we're making the famous duck à l'orange recipe. Someone actually asked me to do that recipe for around the Christmas time and this is the perfect time because Christmas is coming. So what is that duck à l'orange recipe? If you don't know, there are pieces of duck, usually the duck breast or a whole duck that is served with that special sweet and sour orange flavor sauce. It's a very easy recipe to make but what's difficult is really finding that right balance between the sweet and the sour and this is exactly what we're going to see today. Let's go. So to make a duck à l'orange at home, these are roughly the ingredients you're going to need. The list should be popping up on the screen. And just a word of warning, I am only making two duck breasts and I will put the list of ingredients for four duck breasts. So don't mind what's on the table as a rough guide. This is the juice of uh, two blood oranges. These are orange candied orange peel. This is the Cointreau, the orange liqueur, and this is my stock. I've made a duck stock, a white duck stock, but you can also use a white chicken stock on which I've got a video that should pop up right now on the screen. Now let's start our recipe. The first thing we're gonna do is macerate the orange peel in a mix of Cointreau, star anise, and orange juice. Now the original recipe calls out for you to actually create that candied orange peel yourself, but that takes about one and a half hours. So to save time, you're much better off to buy these pre-made and then just cut them and make your marinade. The first thing you have to do is to cut your orange peel into a julienne. The julienne is roughly this, which has very thin stripes of orange peel. Now, because of the camera work is a bit, uh, the angle is difficult, try to show you, take your knife, and you basically try to shave off some of this orange peel and try to make them as small as you can. That's basically it. Once your julienne is cut, the rest is very simple. You put everything in a little bowl like this, and you're just gonna throw in some star anise, a little bit of Cointreau on top, which is the orange liqueur. And I'm just gonna add the juice of one orange on top. And I'm gonna leave this to marinate on the side for later. And now for the sauce. So the good thing about that sauce, guys, with the duck à l'orange sauce, it's a sauce that can be made on its own. You don't need to wait for the duck to be cooked, which is great. And the one key word that's important today is the word syrupy. That sauce requires that everything is reduced to the maximum. So the first step is gonna be to take your stock, put it in a pan, let it simmer and you're gonna let it reduce until you get that kind of syrupy consistency, which is almost like a demi-glace. Perfect. So now that my stock is reducing on the side nicely, we're gonna make a caramel and that's gonna happen with 25 grams of sugar mixed with our vinegar. So of course it's gonna deglaze very quickly. You're gonna reduce the heat and you're gonna leave this to reduce and start forming the caramel. So as you can see here, the vinegar and sugar, they created a caramel and this is what's going to give you that kind of sweet and sour taste. This is a trick. So when it's here, be careful. We're going to add all of the juice of that blood orange. And same thing, bring it to the boil and let it reduce. Once you've let your vinegar, sugar and orange juice to reduce, this is what you get. This is that kind of syrupy consistency. Now let me try to Take some, so I'm putting a spoon in uh, some hot water but to show you, and look. This is really like a syrup. Once you've got this, you've basically created what we call a gastric, which is the base element that is used to make a duck à l'orange sauce. And it is also the moment where things are gonna get a little bit tricky because this gastric here, is a master ingredient you're going to use to give some flavor to your stock that's back here. But you have to be very crafty and very careful not to add too much because you can add water in your stock and let it reduce again, that's fine. But once you put too much sugar in your sauce, you're done for and you have to start over. Now, I've reduced my stock so much that now I've got a tiny, tiny amount, as you can see, and I've transfer it in my other pan and I'm just gonna add a little bit of the gastric which is already started to solidify because it's based on caramel. Now I'm gonna be extremely careful because this is super sweet and I'm just gonna add like not even a tablespoon and you know, I'm just gonna bathe the tablespoon just to detach some of it like a quarter of a tablespoon in there 
and see how that goes. You really have to go little bit by little bit. Now you'll be amazed to hear that actually that tiny bit of gastric was already enough and my sauce is already getting really, really sweet. I need to reduce it further and to combat that kind of sugary sweetness, what we usually add in that sauce, it's a lot of acidity, which means lemon juice. So you add a little bit of lemon juice in there and you're going to let it reduce again. And that's it. Once your sauce has reduced again, it is ready. You can taste again to make sure it's to your liking. But basically, you've made the sauce for the duck orange. It is that simple. Now, it looks a bit difficult because I'm doing a very small amount. If you do a large amount, you will see that there's very much more leeway to kind of play around with the acidity sugary balance. But that's about it. I'm going to leave that sauce on the side and then we're going to concentrate on the garnish and the duck. And now for the glazed turnip. So you take a turnip like I had before, you're going to peel it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to uh, take this melon baller and try to make little uh, balls into uh, my turnip. So basically you try to plant your tool in there. And you're going to turn and make somehow, it's not a perfect round, it doesn't matter. And you're going to make all these little balls everywhere and do that for all your turnips and reserve it in water. Once you're done with your turnips, you can add a little bit of water, you put them in a pan, huh? you don't want to stack them up. So a little bit of water in there, a little bit of butter. And as always, you add some sugar, so roughly a good tablespoon over. And you're going to put your cartouche. I've heard that in the documentary, this is called a cartouche. It's like that paper lid made with parchment paper. When that's done, put the heat on and you're going to leave this to simmer until all the water is gone. Okay, when the water has evaporated, you got your turnips, they're lightly caramelized like that. And you're just going to reserve them in a little bowl on the side. For the meat, frying pan, you can put a little bit of oil if you want, but you start on a medium to high heat. And we're going to gently start to cook the breast skin side first and let them color for a few minutes. After five or six minutes, you're going to get a nice color on there. But before turning them, I'm going to put them on a, on a grill, remove the excess of fat and put them back in. All right, as you can see, I've removed the excess of fat. And now I'm going to put them on the other side for another few minutes. A few minutes later, you can turn your heat off, the breasts are ready, and we're going to reserve them and let them rest for five minutes on the grill. Wow, that's a bit of a heck of a ride, guys. So finally, last step, how macerated orange are going to go back in a pan with everything. And again, as I said at the beginning, everything has to be reduced to somehow some kind of syrupy consistency. And that's exactly what we're going to do with those. Hold on, look at this. This has become some kind of a syrup and I'm ready to reserve this on the side so we can use it to garnish our duck. So I'm going to use one of these little things here and put everything in. Now you can start to preheat your oven at 356 degrees Fahrenheit so that we can start to warm up the duck. This is what I've got here. Now so we've made it guys, we're on the final straight of the dish. We just need to finish that uh, duck à l'orange. So as you can see here, this is my syrupy mix. And as a final touch, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to add some of that reduced orange juice that I've got here. This is what's going to give that last, you know, intonation of orange in your sauce. And now the last view just before we serve, this is what I've done. I've got my garnish and my candied oranges as I've been macerated. I've got my dad as ready to finish to cook in the oven. Glazed turnips that are slightly uh, white glaze. And here is my de orange sauce with the gastric. Okay, ready in the oven and when it's cooked we serve. Okay, the meat is ready. I hope I didn't leave it too long. What I'm going to do last is to take some of the juice, that reduced orange juice, and I'm just going to tap and glaze all my meat with that lovely orange juice, as you can see here, just to give it that nice flavor before we cut the meat. Now let's try to cut that meat. Uh, actually, it might be a little bit overcooked, I think. But we'll see. So duck has to be served rosé, it's slightly pink, so as you can see, it is pink. Some people like it a bit more uncooked. So I'm just going to cut half and serve it on the plate. 